Aloha, everybody. I want to thank you all for making sure that your voices are heard, for speaking out on issues that you care about, and for the work that you are doing to hold your leaders accountable. Your voices, your commitment, and your work is, is making a difference for our future. Today, more than ever, the amped up partisanship, the deepening gridlock in Washington, it's all getting in the way of our ability to achieve real progress. Worse yet, it's further dividing our country. We can't solve the most important challenges of our time because of this stalemate. Partisan fighting has overtaken the real actions that are needed to address climate change, to deal with our failing and broken criminal justice system, to deal with the ever-increasing cost of education and the need to join the rest of the modern world in guaranteeing quality health care for every single American. We need to address this pay-to-play culture in Washington, this corruption within our own government, with an influx of special interest and corporate money into our political system, income inequality, and all of the loopholes that exist within this system that are only benefiting the very few. We need to address the fact that many of our leaders on both sides of the aisle simply do not represent the people that they were elected to serve but instead are catering to big corporate lobbyists, special interests, and the powerful elite. Now, the biggest threat that our nation faces today is the threat of nuclear catastrophe. While our leaders are spending trillions of taxpayer dollars, waging regime change wars, toppling governments around the world, trying to act as the world's police, engaging in wars that are not authorized by Congress, This existential threat of nuclear war continues to grow day by day, as we are now seeing with countries like the U.S. with uh, increased tensions with Russia, the U.S. with increased tensions with China, and of course, the situation and the crisis that we are seeing now with this president leading us into a war with Iran. I'm running for president to end this insanity because I love our country. I love our planet. Your voices, your ideas, your passion are all so important. You have the power in your hands to be the change that we need to see. Change that transcends party lines. We need real leaders stepping up, motivated by this care and love for each other and for our country. And that's what I see in you. So let's stand together and bend the arc of history and usher in a bright new future, a new era with equality, peace, prosperity, and freedom for all.